Good morning, Studio Scholars. My name is Kyle, and I am an intern at One Energy. Today, we will be giving you a crash course on screws, the final simple machine in the simple machine series. Let's get right into it. Have you ever wondered how things such as furniture, electronics, or even cars are pieced together? Well, this little guy right here holds some of the structural secrets to these everyday items. Screws may seem simple, but they play a vital role in the construction of objects we encounter and use every day. A screw consists of three main parts. The head, which provides a surface for the screwdriver to grip and turn the screw, the shaft, a long cylindrical rod, and the threads, which are the spiraling ridges along the shaft. There are various types of screw heads, each with varying functions in both practice and decoration. The two most common types are the slotted and cross-shaped of which there are also many variations. The most common type of slotted screw head, the simple slot, looks like this, and is generally used in softer materials such as wood. This is because less torque or twisting force can be generated from its single slot. The main benefit of the simple slotted screw is that it's cheap to manufacture. It was also the earliest screw to be developed, and more versions of the screw have been invented over time. The most common type of cross-shaped screw head is the Phillips head, which looks like this. Phillips screw heads are generally used for harder materials because more torque can be generated due to the tighter fit between the screw head and the screwdriver. A disadvantage of Phillips head screwdrivers is that you must have the correct size screwdriver, whereas a simple slot screw head may be a little bit more lenient when choosing the screwdriver size. In terms of decoration, screw heads can either have a flat surface or a round surface. A flat surface will sit flush with the material and have a more finished look whereas a rounded surface will sit above the material and potentially increase the amount of torque that can be applied to the screw. There are also different types of screw threads that differ depending on the function, with the main physical difference being how fine the threads are. This refers to the amount of space between each thread. For example, less fine threading or more space between the individual threads is used for soft materials like wood, and more fine threading, which is less space between the individual threads, is used for hard materials like metal. Additionally, there is a special type of thread known as the reverse or left-handed thread. Just like what the name implies, a reverse thread is a thread that goes in the opposite direction of a regular thread, or counterclockwise. And they are used in specialized projects in which the application of pressure would force a right-handed or clockwise screw to come loose. Think of like bike pedals, wheels, or, and other objects that spin with a constant clockwise motion. So, how does it all work? When you rotate a screw using a screwdriver or a drill, the threads cut into the material, creating a path. This path lifts or moves the material for us with less force and creates a strong physical bond that connects the two materials together. It's like a handshake between materials. This is where the mechanical advantage of screws comes from. When I turn this screw clockwise, the threads dig into the wood, and then the threads pull the screw down into the wood deeper and deeper. Now imagine this, but on a larger scale, like when building a table or assembling a bookshelf. Now, you might be thinking, what makes screws better than other fasteners such as nails? Unlike nails, which create a more permanent connection between materials and might even damage the material surface when removed, screws offer a more non-destructive flexible option because you can unscrew them if adjustments are needed. They're also more reliable than adhesives because screws are less likely to lose their grip over time. Another common question people have is, what's the difference between bolts and screws? As shown in the diagram, a bolt is a fastener with threads and a head that is designed to be installed with a nut. A bolt relies on that nut to provide the holding tension needed to keep the bolt in place. Meanwhile, a screw is designed to have a pointed tip and is able to drive its way into the material to create its own footholds with its thread. From simple DIY projects to large constructions, screws can play a significant role in everyday life. See what kinds of screws you can find as you go about your day. And be sure to take note of the types and sizes of screws being used to construct those different objects. Thank you for watching today's Science Short. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And remember, challenge everything.